Okay, uh, it's not 900 degrees in the garage anymore. So time to get back on the little red truck here. Now, well, some of you new people may have not known, but this is my 1986 Ford Ranger. It's got an LS turbo motor, turbo 400 trans, da, 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 da. It's, it's a lot of fun. But there's a couple things we can improve on it. The turbo 400 transmission is great, and it's, but it's a foot brake, so there's no trans brake, so no hard launch, anything like that. And it does have a semi-decent 60 foot time at the drag strip. It's about 1.7 and change, okay? There's room for improvement for that. Now, that being said, room for improvement, we wanna see how inexpensively we can improve that 60 foot time to just maybe into like the one the low one sixes and that tenth of a second would translate to you know a bunch on the other side our overall goal for this truck for this fall the best time in this is about a 70 about 101 miles an hour when change for track conditions all that kind of stuff our goal is to be in like the 680s um with this chassis i don't know how much faster we really want to go than a 680 in the eighth mile but here's what i have planned and let me show you here okay we're gonna make improvements in two spots all right first as you can see down here if you can see this pretty pretty good this is a your basic your basic boost controller and the way this works for those who don't know as your turbo creates pressure, that turbo pressure is translated through a tube down to the wastegate. And at a certain prescribed amount of pressure, that wastegate starts to open to control the amount of exhaust coming through the turbo, which in turn controls the turbo speed. Now, uh, a couple things. On this turbo, I put the original tap here because there was a nice flat spot, it was easy to tap into and put, put a pressure tap in. Now, normally they're down here a little bit, more on the horn where it goes into the tubing that leads to your intercooler. And I don't know if there's more pressure here than would be here, I don't know. And what I'm trying to say with all that is in its stock form, the way it sits now, with a 20 pound spring in the gate, I'm only seeing about nine pounds of boost at the manifold, which is okay. Yeah, that means the truck will survive. It run nine pounds all the time. It's still making about 550 horsepower. It's a lot of fun in a 2,400 pound truck, okay? But I think we, we could do a little bit better, maybe see, you know, maybe like 12 pounds of boost out the back end, pick up a little time, get us into that high six range. So again, what we've done We've added that manual boost controller, and all that is is a controlled air leak. The pressure going from the turbo to the wastegate gets intersected by this turbo controller, and basically you adjust the little knob on top, and that lets more air out of this pressure tube. So basically it steps down the pressure that the turbo's putting out to the wastegate, and we're gonna see if that helps bring the overall boost pressure to the manifold up, which is what we're looking for. Now, that may not be the whole problem because when I put this together, I kind of went a little overboard with the wastegate size. I put in a 50 millimeter, which was probably a little bit large because even when it starts to open a little bit, it lets a lot of air out of the exhaust. And that's maybe where I'm dropping my pressure. Worst case scenario, if this doesn't turn our boost pressure up, we can turn, we can do one of two things. We can either restrict the, the exhaust going into the wastegate, or we can just cut it off and put on a smaller wastegate, say like a 38 millimeter or something like that. But this would be the easiest way since it's, you know, you cut it, you put it on here, you attach it with a couple hose clamps, you know, it's, it's, cheap, it's a cheap, cheap and easy mod, and people have been doing this to turbos for forever, so we'll see how that works once we take this thing out testing. Okay, the second way we're going to get our 60-foot times down, let me show you this. Okay, this is 
my air intake tubing. This comes out of the intercooler, through the piping, and into the throttle body, and into the manifold. This here, you can see this little tube here and this little solenoid, that's a little dry shot of nitrous. Now, right now, recollection tells me that I put in a 35 shot. I believe the jet size that I put in it. Well, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna, I gotta open that back up because I think we're gonna turn that up a little bit and maybe go, if it's at 35, we're gonna go to 50. And if it's at 50, we're gonna go to 75. And I'm only using the dry nitrous. It, there's an arming switch and a button on the steering wheel and that controls the nitrous regardless of throttle position. But I'm only using the nitrous pretty much through, three quarters away through first gear. And as soon as it kind of leaves the line and it starts to build boost, I let off the button and shift into second is the way I've always done it. Could I hold it down through second and through, you know, as it, for that short little bit of time that I click it in the third gear going through the eighth mile? Sure. Would that improve my times? Sure. I think you could, that's better done with boost, I believe, for longevity of the engine. So what I'd like to do is just hit it harder on, you know, from the dead stop when the light turns green. Uh, I thought it would probably be enough, but I, after watching this video here from Steve Morris, and he just basically is doing the same thing because he has a little bit of lag from his turbo that's in the back of his trailblazer coming off the line. And he says it won't, he says this trailblazer, even from a dead stop um, with this badass motor and his turbo and everything, wouldn't even burn the tires the way it's geared and everything coming off the line. This is no problem doing a burnout. But um, since traction is not an issue and we want to bring down our 60 foot times, let's go ahead and I'll open up that, get my little AN wrench, open up that fitting, see what size our jet is. And then we'll put a bigger one. All right, let me get this done and I'll show you what size jet's in it. Okay, this is super hard to see. I don't even know if it'll focus. But there's a number on it. I had to use a mag uh, magnifying glass to read it. And it's a 35. No, seriously, magnifying glass and glasses and everything. The 35. <laughs> so let me go over to my nitrous jets see what I got in my collection for one bigger and I'll be right back. Okay, consulting our nitrous jetting chart from Nitrous Outlet. It looks like a 35 on all these tables this is about a 50 shot for a dry shot. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go bonsai, but we're gonna go up one. We're gonna go up to 75 horse shot and we're gonna look for our number uh, it looks like a number 40, 41 jet. Can you see that? Number 41 jet. And here's our new jet. Now, I know you can't read that number. Neither can I. So these, these nitrous folks need to realize old people need to see these. So let me get this 41 in and buttoned up, and then we'll wrap this whole thing up. And you might be asking yourself, well, okay, all right, cool, you're, you're gonna go faster. Well, there's a purpose. And the purpose is I have a call out. And a call out's to my buddy, Uncle Tony, in Bottle Rocket for the month of October, which is just around the corner here. So in the month of October, Tony, the Little Red Ranger, and Bottle Rocket. Heads up, let's go. What do you say? Let me know. And then, um, you know, if you got any extra terms, let me know, but I'm ready. How about you? All right, guys, thanks. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you for watching me and you know, none of this is possible without any of you. So, uh, do, you know, the whole like, subscribe, check out merch, leave comments, type down below what I did wrong, what you think I did wrong, what's going on. What's the weather like? I don't know. <laughs> Throw me in some comments and then we'll see everybody next time. Thanks.